Good afternoon, and it's the same Saturday afternoon as the previous video, or the video before that, where I um, found the fault with my indicator and my position light. I still haven't tensioned that up or set the headlamp. So, what I didn't test in that video was the brake light. And the front brake doesn't work off the switch and I've shoved my tester let's just put the bike on done my tester on my connections and that's reading I can get it to connect seven and a half volts so I'm definitely getting power to there the switch itself I've taken off so how it works is the lever actually pushes on this little nipply switch that bit here and breaks the connection and then when you when you brake it pulls this portion of the brake lever away from that and it pops up which completes the circuit and although it was working just it's staying on now oh, there you go <laughs> I'm doing the lever and it's not even connected um, Yeah, it's, it's flashing at my rear. So, um, depressed it should be off. And then if I let go as if I've pulled the lever, it's still off. But if I just put the slightest bit of pressure on it, sort of push it in about half a millimeter, I'll get a brake light. So obviously the connections inside the switch aren't happy. There you go, it's back to working properly now. But it's so temperamental, I can't... It is back to working properly. <laughs> Why are you back to working properly? Well, I don't believe this. I've done all the testing and checking and everything, and squirted fluids and that. They must have just taken effect. But I cleaned up these connections in the actual electrical block there um, and what it was doing was if I pressed it down sort of half a mil the light would activate but if I le left it right out it wouldn't but it is now so there you go anyway that's me testing my switch and the other test I did was a continuity check so this will check that the circuit completes and there you go you can hear the buzz which means it's making a circuit when that is pressed which is obviously when your lever is out it breaks the circuit I can't believe that I've been messing about with that for a good 20 minutes there you go off and it's working fine and I was that sure it was knackered I've actually taken the switch off of my Corona GSXR 600 to go on here um, and then I was just going to order a new one for that just so this bike really is ready for the MOT and there you go same working fine but I don't believe this has come back to life well I don't believe that <laughs> I don't know whether the chance of it. This is Saturday today, so 
next Saturday is the MOT date for mediocre. So I've only really got, well, this weekend because I don't seem to be able to get out the shed during the week. I only got this weekend to get it ready for the MOT. So it's like, do I chance this one? Putting the old one back in, I'll put the one back in off the Corona and actually buy a new one. But that does seem to be fine now. <coughs> Perhaps put a bit more fluid in it. But anyway, that's the checks I've done to find that this was faulty, only to find after I've just been in, because my daughter was visiting, having a chat with her, and I've come out and miraculously it's cured itself. So. I'll stick that back on. But, there you go, another, another waste of time. <laughs> but yes, back and working and lovely. That should be on, yeah, brake lights on. Oh, there's a bit of a flicker there. No, that's top notch. But there you go. A little video into checking your brake light switch. Not a difficult job, quite an obvious thing to do. Um, yeah, set up on 20 volts on your tester and then stick them in your connector, which will tell you whether you've got any power coming in. Uh, red and black. There you go, 7.69 7 volts. And then continuity check across your switch to make sure it's making and breaking a circuit. So that's, um, that's that little symbol down there, if you didn't know. Probably throwing eggs at people and telling them to suck here but yeah all good all good back to life as I say I will smear some more um, fluid in there so what I'll do is I'll put some more penetrating oil in there it will drive out any moisture and should give it a little bit of a coat in to keep it going I so I did put a bit in there before, but which seems to have done the job actually. I don't think they're lubric lubricating holes; they're more of a drainage hole because it sits like that. Um, two holes on the bottom, but yes, I'm just happy that it's working. And happy that I discovered it before it went for MOT. Anyway, just a short video there. Electrical connections, checking, diagnosing. Call it what you like. But it was a, a lucky find. Because generally speaking, I use the, the back brake to check the brake light. Because obviously you can physically press the back brake whilst actually looking at the back light. Where do you want to go? You want to go here somewhere. I can't see it. Amazing what you can do when you see stuff.
that has got a lock wash on it so I'm not worried about thread lock or anything there you go job done put the, the other one back on my corona there you go thanks for watching catch you again Ta-ra.